Hey guys, Shinlox here, back with our blind playthrough of Song of the Deep. I gotta make sure I lean back, I'm leaning forward. Cuddle pups enjoy following glow bulbs. The sonar blast knocks enemies back and shatters obstacles. Uh, I don't have any upgrades though. Did I have the option to get upgrades for the sonar? No, not yet. Huh, all right, well. So the cuddle, the cuddle pups are those things that move the anemones, in which case, but they enjoy following glow bulbs. So I could probably pick up whatever one of those glow bulbs are to get into the area with the anemones and maybe throw it or bring it towards them and they'll, they'll get near it and open the way, at least while I'm holding it. Um, yeah, it's really weird. This game has a lot more environmental... Oh, is that... That's the gate that was right there. A lot more environmental interaction than I would have thought previously. Oh, here we go. Boss fight. Also, how do I get to... Oh, I can't go in there yet. Okay, that's fair. There we go. The cannon in its mouth looks like teeth. Still, I mean, not to be nitpicky, I guess I'll be a little nitpicky, is why are the heads built there? You know what I mean? There's like no... More, okay, more glass. Like there's no need. Unless they're expecting someone to come from this way, but that doesn't make a lot of sense, you know? Ooh, I saw the background Open load. The water stretched out in all directions. The golden spires of the Forbidden City gleamed in the distance, while a yawning trench lay below. It almost looks like a giant hand in the background. Oh, it's another tower, though. Well, let's try going up first. Right, I see. It's like, oh, hey, do you want treasure? Fight these enemies. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, we got it. Cool. Well, we probably have to go down, because I assume that's similar to the deep light, but we're gonna... Well, and plus the X is down there, but for now... Okay. Right, the glow bulbs. Maybe. And there's glass there. Hmm. Okay. A laser. Laser! But what do I... Where do I reflect it? Right, does that make sense? Oh, hang on. Okay.
cool. Got a little treasure there. That's good. Nothing wrong with a little bit more treasure. There's a bigger city down below. Aha! Okay, I know how to fix this. Nope, not that. Pull it up. Excellent. Well, before I go that way, do I want to go... I guess it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Actually, that thing in the distance is floating. At last! Merrin spotted her father's boat lying on the sea floor. And there's a book inside. Uh-oh. Yep, that... Suddenly, a violent current grabbed hold of Merrin. It pulled her inside a powerful Fomori machine known as the Architect. Oh. The machine had once built the towering golden spires of the Forbidden City. But now, its purpose was simpler and more sinister. What was its purpose? Right, so... Yeah, we still gotta go down there to the boat. Now, the other thing I realized is, like, when we found... We found his gloves, we found... His diving suit, I think. Like, I don't know what the deal is. This must be where we get the uh, glass breaking thing. What is this? Are you hostile? You're a clockwork thing. I assume these hurt. Yes, yes they do. They hurt quite a lot actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can go through that way yet. The purple looks pretty... Scaring a turtle into its shell appeared to cause the beams of that color to shut off. I see. Ow, ow! It's a turtle. It's a robotic turtle, huh? Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring it with me. Although definitely... You know... Has, like, momentum of its own. Alright, which way? Probably... Well, we need to find that other turtle, right? So let's go this way for now. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, no! Ow. Oh, enter? No, ah, oh, crap, that's the wrong one! Oh, no! for having to scare the turtles but it was the only way to help them escape from the machine agreed all right well i can't break the glass yet we'll just leave those there as marin entered the innermost room of the architect a large red turtle activated an alarm suddenly the insides of the machine began to move and change shape around her. Neat. Do we fight the core? Well, we probably can't do anything yet.
I don't know what that is. Oh, come on. I don't know what that does. Like, it's supposed to be a switch or... Oh, that's what it does. Right, that's why you exit the sub, because it... turns it off. So we can't go down there. Really? Okay. Oh. Weird. Ouch. Um, hmm. The turtles hiding in their shells could now be moved safely around. Ah. Baron was careful not to hurt them. After all, this was for their benefit, as well as her own. So we gotta go back to the sub, I guess. Right. We'll have to go that way, presumably. Some of the beams were controlled by sensors. But would any large object trigger the sensor? The answer is yes. Wait, so... Oh, do I put the sub... Huh, do I leave the sub up there and pull that guy down here? No, because that'll trap the... Well, maybe I can, uh... That might, that might screw me, actually, if I can't... Well, no, maybe not, because I can still... Can always go back, you know what I mean? Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, that that's gonna hurt. I don't know if I'm even going the right way. Oh, yep, two hits. Jeez. Come on, little turtle. Oh. Well, all right. Oh, I see, and then it kind of snaps into place. Yeah, see, that's not something I can really... Hmm. Oh, but it turns off the purple, too. All right, that's fair. Can I... I can't grab that. But was there something else in here I could get? Uh, let me get this, alright. Trying to... Feel my blade! There we go. Um, so I think we moved the turtle over the blue one, so we could probably return to the... Oh, I guess we didn't. Moved on its own. There we go. So I wonder if that would... Don't go anywhere. Now hopefully that turns off the blue where we are. Hmm, not, not quite. All right, well. Right. See, I need to get my sub down there, but the question is how? Well, let's try leaving I'm not quite sure what that did, but we'll 
See, I thought I turned the ones off in the middle, but maybe that's just how it how it goes. There we go. We'll just kind of nudge it into place. Just hold it right there, and then that should be good. Architect. I see. More puzzles. Now, if this follows the rule of threes, so I can't... Then this should be the last time it does this. I can't go this way. Not yet. And I can't go that other way, so we'll have to use... I see. You're a... The Red Turtle continued to evade Marin. She wondered if she could trick him into taking a more dangerous path. Okay, well... What is, uh... Let's see what this does. I see. There we go. All right, so, oh, well, fair enough. Oh, what's this one over here? Well, I'm sure we need to use it. Just need to borrow you for a second, dude, sorry. Uh, probably for this. Ow. Oh, I, wrong one. Let's see. Where do I... Okay, that needs to open. Wait, so what does this open? Hmm. I don't know, and also where's oh that yeah yeah. I was like, where's the where's the red one go? Okay, so I need to let that dude go up. We'll bring him right up here. Head up there, young man. A burst of energy from the machine sent the turtle back into his shell. But a piece had broken away. Marin recognized it as a Fomori sonar device. Okay, well... How do I... Like, how do I open this? There you go. Charge sonar to emit radial shockwave, pushes back enemies, and can shatter obstacles. Sonar blast knocks back enemies, shatters... You don't release it, you just hold it. Well, alright. So, do we do something with this? No. Um, hmm, so are these open? This one's open. The submarine 
then shot out a burst of pure sonic energy, shaking the architect and scattering broken glass in all directions. This new power might be Meryn's one opportunity to escape. Oh, it uses energy. Use sonar blast on the control dome to alter the machine's layout. Fair enough. Yeah, it damages enemies as well. This is the control dome. I thought the other one was, but... There you go. Good job. The last piece of the great Fomori machine collapsed. Marin heard the sounds of distant turbines. The current that had pulled her in was now reversed, pushing her back out into the sea and toward her father's boat. She even unlocked poor turtles. Yep, and there it goes. It's sinking. You just rip the top off of it. And grab. Oh, there's the octopus. Enormous red tentacles grabbed her submarine, cracking its hull and crushing its propeller. The unseen beast pulled her down into the darkest depths and left her at the bottom of a deep, rocky trench. Her submarine broken, Marin sat helplessly at the bottom of the sea. She opened her father's journal. On the last page, he had written a note to her. Her hands trembled as she read it. My dearest Marin, I now realize I may never see you again, and I feel that I have failed you. I'm sorry for all the times you went hungry. I'm sorry I could not buy you pretty dresses and paints and books of your own. I wish I could have given you a happier life. Please know that I love you more than all the world. Meryn put down the journal, and her eyes blurred with tears. She didn't want pretty dresses or paints. She had a happy life, and she just wanted it back. For the first time since her journey began, Marin had lost hope. She felt the slow, dull realization that her father was truly gone. She watched as the water seeped in through the cracks in the submarine's hull. She could no longer will herself to go on. As the cold water slowly rose up around her, there was a tapping sound from above, and the hatch creaked open. Oh, yeah. It was Swish. He gently picked Marin up and pulled her out of the trench. He carried her out of the Forbidden City, through caverns and caves she had never seen, until they reached a place so beautiful that Marin was certain she must be dreaming. Did I get a bad end or something? Brought her to an undersea garden of a thousand colors. Beautiful corals of every hue stretched out like blooming summer flowers. Dazzling schools of fish swooped up and down all around her. Marin had never imagined a place like this could exist below the waves. What she didn't know was that the whole sea was once covered with these gardens and that this was the last one of them all. So... Sea Garden. So how is the submarine there? Find Swish in the Sea Garden. So we got pulled down... there. Well, somewhere. You don't know where specifically. We just got pulled down. Um, so her father's dead. Maybe. Probably. Alright, where are we going? Watch out for the lanterns. So we have to find Swish. We have to follow Swish. 
and pres presumably get back our submarine or find something to re-give us hope. Oh, jeez, look at that. Sorry, Swish, I'm being taken this way. Oh, well, that's the glow things, presumably. Like one of those, you mean? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to push you. Yeah, that's a bit sad if that's, um... You know. What is this thing? All right, little guy, follow me. Follow me. Come on. Go for it, little guy. There we go. What's up, dude? Oh, so now we move the propeller? Can we move it? Nah, it looks stuck. We don't have a submarine anyway. The submarine a could. Cluster of brilliant red marrow eggs shimmered like giant rubies. If the sea garden could be saved, the marrows might still live on. Interesting. Marrows are from eggs. That's kind of. Oh, you could see them. You could see them in there. But they're from eggs. That's very. Unexpected, I suppose. We're, uh... Presumably you have to move this to get the treasure, right? Alright, and then there's that treasure. Cool. So let's, uh, grab one of this. Yes. Move. Man, there's so much environmental interaction in this game. I didn't expect that at all, honestly. Um, where, where are we going? We're trying to go up, right? We're trying to... Oh, we need our little buddy. Come on, little buddy, where are you? Did it go away? Uh, I think it went away. Well, kaka. Oh, there's treasure. For when we get our... I mean, of course we're gonna get the submarine back. You know what I mean? Right, well, I think over here is glass, right? Yeah. That was what the... S the clockwork seahorse was trying to get to. Um... Can I... Alright, we can get it. We don't need to necessarily go through there yet. We might need to, but for now, we don't need to. Am I screwed because I left the, the dude behind? Okay. Uh, nope, you don't like that one. No. Patui. Yeah, I got you. I got you. We'll try one of the glow things. Uh, nope. Then we'll try... There was a seashell. Somewhere. Where was it? Right here? Okay. A conch shell. I believe that's what these are called. Uh, probably not. No. Is there something else then? Oh, oh, watch out. Probably down in there is what we need, right? That would be my suspicion. 
we'll save and hopefully we don't screw our game because we need the, the dude. We'll try one of these. Oh, you're so relaxed, Manny. Wait, is this the right way? No. Ah, no, what are you doing? No? Yes? No. Okay. Man, you are picky. Um, wow, it flew all the way over here, did it? Uh, that's a similar one, I think. Crab? Is this... Can we... No? Okay. What about one of the lantern things? That's a possibility, I maybe. We could certainly try it, you know? Alright, let's try one. Go. Can't believe he's gone. I was so sure I would find him. I know. I know. Alright, we're gonna try and get you into the... Into the... No? There we go. Maybe? Uh, probably not. No. Alright, fair enough. For a second I thought it might work. Right? Um, okay, what is... This is where I was, right? Yeah, where's the dude? I need you, dude. Need my little buddy. I mean, to be fair, her father, her father probably is dead. I mean, you know, that's kind of what I suspected. Um, but actually, that's not. Wait, is this where we started? Yeah, where did we come from? We started from somewhere around here. Huh. Well, anyway. Let's go grab... That little guy again. Or, wait, did we try this one? This is a yellow one, not a green one. How about that? No, probably not. Pato! Nope. So we've tried pink, blue, yellow. <sighs> Whale? There's Swish. Swish is like, what are you doing? Our little guy, follow me! Oh, hang on, we, what about one of those spinies? Well, we'll figure it out. Fetch! Fetch, little guy! Come on! Oh, it's... Going away. Where's my another? Where is another one? All right. Well, well, let's try.
Okay. Yeah, maybe... I think we've tried one of those, right? Pretty sure we tried one of those. Um, now how do we get out of here? Follow this dude again. That's what we do. Well, alright then, I don't know. Maybe figure out that treasure later. Come on. Come on. Come on, go get it. Okay, well, I'm I'm going. Sorry, I can't wait for you. Yep, there we are. Huh. Marin was shocked to see her submarine repaired and waiting for her. Did you do this? She asked the hermit crab. And for a moment, she thought he was blushing beneath his shell. The true treasure was the friends we made along the way. Well, works for me. So we got a sonar upgrade. High speed sonar. Modify the sonar, sonar oscillator to decrease charge time for sonar blast. Swap out the sonar transducer to require less energy for the sonar blast. That would be good because that thing soaks up a lot. Missile defense. Destroy enemy projectiles. That would also be good. And I think this is the last one. Maybe not. No, that is. That is the last thing we can... Yeah, we'll, uh... Can we upgrade this? Boom. Oh, that only took like 150. Right on. Definitely want that one as well. Can't purchase that yet. That's probably probably 800. We can't tell, but it's probably something like that. All right. So swish. There's swish. Now what do we do here in the Sea Garden? Ah. Oh. As Merrin swam toward Kara, she felt a wave of panic. The Mero was dying. Merrin asked her desperately, "What can I do? How can I help?" Kara's voice was slow and weak. Fix him. Fix him, and he will show you, she said. Kara closed her eyes. She didn't have the strength to say more. Very sick, but Swish was there to care for her. He would fetch scallops for her to eat and guard her from any enemies. Merrin knew the best way she could help was to find a way to repair the clockwork seahorse. Interesting. So the clockwork seahorse was working for Kara, I suppose. All right, well, I remember the head, seeing the head, but there's probably multiple. Find three mechanical seahorse parts. Right, right, right. One. Yep, I saw that one before. Down in the bone vaults, which now we could probably... there's glass or something, I think, right? Now we can get to, and there's this, which probably also you need to glass to get to, or some other thing, you know? And then over here, yeah, same thing. They're all, they're all pieces by glass, right? And you have to... Right, so we do this, and then there's... Well... I don't know. I don't know what's after this. Fix this, and then it's defeat the big bad or, or something, right? So, we're here. Alright, so Swish. Sw Swish has got it. We're gonna stop now? No, we still have, we still have time. Um, yeah, we'll go down. Nope, we can't go down. We will go left, maybe? A series of visions flashed through her mind. Each one showed a different location in the world. She marked them on her map, 
wondering what she might find there. Well, of course, seahorse parts. Cool, money. Money's always good. Or, you know. And... Wait, what's up top? Let's check that out because we want to definitely open that so that it's probably a one-way thing. Yeah, glass. Well, I mean... Yeah, the charge time is definitely faster. The Watcher's Hollow. Oh, wait, let's uh, let's go up and get that treasure too, because it's like right there. Well, that's right. Suck it. <laughs> It's funny because she's all like Marin's all happy, but uh wait. No, it's the other way. I need to find one of those things. I bet I need to go down below, bring one up here, and, and maybe throw it down in there. For the dude. Unless there's one somewhere around here, one of the glow thing of a bobs. Glow bulbs? Is that what they were called? Uh Right, there was treasure there, because we shown our light. Would the light work? They're attracted to the light, aren't they? Can I get you to follow me? No? Alright, fair enough. Oh, there's that treasure, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. I mean, assuming we can. Glass. Excellent. That's what I think of glass. Oh, can we not, uh, we can't get through here? Well, let's save then. Yeah. And that thing definitely uses a lot. It's like, but at least now it's like two missiles or two torpedoes instead of whatever it was before. Almost like five, probably. So there's... Ah, well, yes, that's a gate. Fair enough. Um... Okay. I see. Okay. So probably not that one. for me, and then we shoot this over that way, and that probably activates the other thing. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Treasure achieved. I kind of like the little puzzles. They're not too hard, thankfully. And, I mean, they reward you, because then you can go purchase upgrades, which make your life easier. So I've pretty much cleared out, except for that one little spot. But I bet we need... I bet we need a glow bulb. Let's see if we can do that real fast. And what is this? This hole right here. I bet this is probably to the final area. If I was going to guess.
All right, is there a glow bulb somewhere? It's like a hand sticking out of the ground right here. Oh well. All right, what is over here? We got that thing. Still no glow bulbs. Looks like uh, this might be the only way. Oh, just random, random treasure hanging out. I don't mind. Explodey thing. Another treasure over there. Ah, bombs. Cool. So, we probably have to time this so that you do, like, with the big one. Or you just get screwed like that, you know what I mean? It's like a small one, small one, big gap, small. Well, that was... Probably the worst timing I could have done. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> That's fine. Where did Swish go? He seems to know about this place. We found him already. Oh, my... No, no! Actually, it's probably easier to just go around in a circle. You know, that's probably what you have to do. You... I bet you can do it that way, but you might. Cool. Is this the way forward? Wait, where's the treasure up here? Ah, clever. That's why you check your map. What is this? It's a jumbo fish worth 500. I was like, all the little ones are silver and gold, and this, or, you know, silver, bronze, gold, whatever. This one's like jewel encrusted and all sorts of cool stuff. Ah. Yep. Clockwork seahorse. Marrow. Or not. Human girl. Right? We have something over here. Pathway to treasure. I'm in. Although, to be honest, I kind of wish... Um, ooh. Uh, hmm. There's got to be something we could do. Fair enough. There's gotta be- oh wait, there is a glow thing here, but uh... Wait. Wait, where's this going? Is this a, a creature? Is it an animal? Like, what's going on? Is it- Can I- can I grab it? No. What did I just... I don't know, but it's going somewhere. I'm falling. Oh, there's a turtle or something right there. Oh, where's it going? I missed it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Move, move. Okay, it's here now. Oh, you... All right. You follow it and it takes you to a treasure. That's cool. Well, now I'm now I'm here. Let's see if I can get one of those glow things, right? Am I going the right way? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, wow, that's too fast. Ah, crap. Really? This is what we have to do again? I would almost... almost guarantee... Come on, little guy. No! What are you doing?
Come on, follow me. Follow me, little dude. Follow me. Oh, I, you can't go too fast? Is that the deal? Go after it. Fetch. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay, that hurts. That hurt a lot. Can I push you? Can I push you down this way a little bit? Alright, come on. Um, actually, I don't... I do need this. But we'll, we'll get it in a minute. Ah, crap. I forgot about... It. Yeah, I should be able to... Move! Should be able to bring this to the clam. Where is the clam? This way? Yeah, I'm definitely not as... small. Oh, that's... that's still there. How about... oh, you... I like... he liked it. That's good. Gimme. There's a green fish statue. Here goes Manny. Where goes Manny? Manny goes... Manny goes there. Alright. And... that's cool. Save. Um, should I stop here? Yeah, see, there's like this turtle head. Oh, I can. I don't know why I couldn't before. That's odd. Oh, maybe because I was towing something? Is that why? That might be why, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Well, let's try to get one of those glow bulbs then, since we still have a couple of minutes. Yeah, it definitely... Really interesting, because Solar Jetman I mean, if you ever Jetman, Jetman, that's how it is. It adds stuff like that adds weight. So you, and that has a lot of like environmental. It's all about gravity, you know. You're you're out in space. You're a salvage. You're a little you're, you're a little pod, kind of like this. And you got to go pick up parts and fuel and bring them back to your mothership for upgrades. And you could sell it and upgrade your your little pod. If you like this. Try Solar Jetman. I think you will like it. It gets hard. It's so hard, though. And then the final level is basically, uh... You'll probably want to use save states. Uh, because the last level is basically like a... Like a shmup, like Gradius. Uh, you know, you... It switches from your pod to... The whole point is you're trying to collect these pieces of this warp ship. So you can, uh... So that the final... the big bad can be destroyed um so you find all the pieces and then all of a sudden it's like now you're in the pilot you're you're in the cockpit of this thing like gradius style and if you die you die yeah <laughs> game over uh, so you basically get one shot to to go through this level and and defeat a boss and uh yeah i've never done it i've gotten like halfway through and then i used like cheat codes to get to the end still couldn't beat it and then I watched, I've watched speedruns, you know. Um, okay. So, ooh, I wonder if we could throw it. I gotta lean back. I keep leaning forward because I'm like, I'm into it, you know. All right, let's. Oh well, never mind. There it goes. Uh, and we're... Little engine's overheated. Alright. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get that thing. There's gotta be a glow bulb somewhere in here that we can... That we can get. Feed her scallops. Yep. And then there's... There's gotta be something we... we use that... 
Right, because we don't have all the... Like this. There's an upgrade to the search lights that we don't have. So... Alright, with our next couple minutes, let's head down here. We'll see if we can get more of this treasure. Because treasure is good. Yeah, this is significant. I really want to know what the plot is now. You know? Alright, uh... Right, I mean, I can't get in there. I see. I see now. Go for it, little guy. Hmm. Do I have to... What is that? Oh, those are two seahorses. I was like, is that some sort of weird octopus thing? No, it's just two seahorses. Hidden treasure, I'll take you. Very cleverly hidden. I like it. Right, so you come down here, you grab this thing. Come on, dude. Follow me. To a world of pure imagination. Come on, come on, little guy. And then is this another one? Yeah. Go for it. Onward. What is this? Oh! Full spectrum searchlight. Powerful bulb for the searchlight. Capable of interacting with sea life in new ways. Mary discovered a peculiar purple light that was both dark and bright at the same time. After a bit of thought, she had an idea for how to use it. Oh. Okay. Oh, does it lead this dude on now? Oh, no! Now we can do this. F yes. Hell yes. So it's black light. And they don't like it. That's cool. Well, let's, uh... Oh, man. Well, let's head back to the save point, then. Right. This is one of the upgrades I wanted. I see there's another statue here with the hand. It's probably the same one, the girl with the seahorse. Right, so I, I probably said this already, but I assume the seahorse was looking for a way to cure Kara. That's why I was like, no, 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 we need to go into the garden. Don't go that way, because for Mori, for Mori bad. All right, guys, well, let's stop for now. Whoa, man, he's running around. Um, let's stop here for today. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. This is probably going to be my last, be my last episode before... Or at least while my brother's here. I'm um, gonna go pick him up in a bit. And then we'll... He'll be here for like a week and then I'll... Uh, ooh, yeah, that's gonna be bad afterwards. Tons of call. Tons of call and we'll be down another person. So it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough for the foreseeable future at work. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be real bad. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um... But, uh, but yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll survive, you know what I mean? That's what, that's what happens. Or I'll get so mad that I'll quit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's just how it goes, I guess. I haven't, yeah, I probably won't quit, but, you know, it's, if it gets to the point where it's like my, my health or mental health versus the job, it's gonna, the job is gonna get the axe for me. So, uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's, I mean, I'm, well, you know, I'll be, I'm tough. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I said, if you like this game, if you've played it before, maybe try Solar Jetman. Uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's the kitties. Um, 
I got a couple good pictures of them today. Just, <sighs> you know, just being cute. So that's nice. Uh, but that's my unique pause moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Manny just kicked Jack out of his spot and took it over. So that's a dick move, but whatever. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.